Today we will be describing the kinetics of a curveball as it relates to the properties of viscosity, molecular collisions, and Bernoulli's equation. As some of you may know, a pitcher has the ability to not only throw a baseball at blistering speeds, but also cause a change of direction on the ball on its way to the plate. How do they do it? Kinetics. Pitchers have a multitude of pitches, but two of the most common are the fastball and the curveball. In the most basic sense, a fastball goes straight and a curveball moves downward as well as laterally as it approaches its target using kinetics. We will show you how and why this happens. To throw a fastball, a pitcher grips the ball perpendicularly across the seams to maximize their contact with air and cause the ball to spin backwards, causing minimal net force on the ball other than gravity. A curveball, on the other hand, rotates end over end and is gripped to make sure the majority of the seams make contact with air on top of the ball, causing it to move downward, similarly in the way uh, an airplane flies, but in reverse. Switching gears, we will now explain the applications of the kinetic properties at work. In a gaseous medium such as air, the behavior of a particle is influenced by force interactions with its medium. The measure of the force required to manipulate a particle in any plane within a gas or liquid medium is called the viscosity. The size of the particle as well as the density, size, and composition of the medium dictate how much force is required. Extrapolating this idea to the baseball, we can use the idea behind Bernoulli's theorem to direct the sum of the forces which the molecules in the air are exerting on the baseball. Specifically, the seams, which are pronounced on the surface of the ball, thus maximizing the interaction with the atmosphere. This interaction is why a fastball is straight and a curveball curves. In a fastball, the force generated is equal on both sides of the ball, but on a curveball, because the spin causes more interactions between the seams and the air molecules on top of the ball, causing a pressure differential, which, by Bernoulli's theorem, generates downward force. In conclusion, curveballs could not be without kinetics. We would like to thank Daniel Bernoulli and Steven Strasberg for their personal assistance and consent to the use of their likenesses. Kinetics.